Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you a really simple hair growth treatment that you can add to your regimen to prevent hair breakage and also your hair falling out. Now, if you fall within the category of people that find that your hair is breaking a lot and perhaps you are losing quite a lot of hair as well, so meaning it's falling out a lot, you definitely want to watch today's video. This treatment will make your hair really strong, really moisturized, and also enable it to grow a lot faster than you think. So you definitely want to keep on watching. Now, before we get into the video, I just want to say a huge thank you if you are a returning subscriber. I really love and appreciate your support. And if you're new here, please consider clicking the subscribe button to join the family. Now let's hop right into the video. So this recipe, like I said guys, is really simple. It contains just a few ingredients that are really easy to find. Um, so the first one would be some flax seeds. Now flax seeds are super amazing when it comes to increasing hair thickness and also preventing it from falling out. The stronger your hair is, the less likely it is to break. And also you will notice that your hair isn't shedding as much as perhaps you used to when you start using flax seeds in your regimen on a regular basis. So for this, I will be using five tablespoons of flax seeds, but again, you can use more if you want to, it depends on the quantity that you are trying to make. But this was just enough for um, the amount that I needed for my hair for just one use. Now for that amount of flax seeds, we are going to need one and a half glass of water, a cup of water. Um, so just go ahead and pour your water on there. And then we're just gonna pop this on the stove and just allow it to boil for just about five minutes or until the water or the liquid starts to thicken, just like you're gonna see in a little bit. So when it starts boiling, this is what it looks like. And just be there to stir occasionally because it can boil over and then you will have this all over your stove. So be there to check it guys. And this is the kind of consistency that you want to end up with. So something that is nice and thick. And then essentially once you've got this consistency guys, turn off your stove and then we're just going to go ahead and strain it um, straight away. Um, so the reason why I'm straining straight away is just because it's easier that way. Now you can allow this to cool down and again strain the same way. Um, but it will be a gel essentially. Um, it's just much easier when it's still liquid like this to just strain. So pour that on there and just allow it to drain. And then we're just going to allow this to cool down before we move on to the next step. So this is it here after it has cooled down you can see it's literally turned into a gel and that's essentially what we were going for um, so we're now going to go in with our next ingredient which would be one ripened avocado now the riper avocado is guys the better it is um, if you have one that is overripe is even better essentially so I'm just going to go ahead and cut up my avocado and just add it to the flaxseed gel that we have made now avocado has great benefits when it comes to helping with hair growth when applied topically just like what we'll be doing here it helps with um, putting moisture back into our hair um, but obviously you will get better benefits if you actually consume this um, when consume is super super amazing because it's such a high source of biotin and also um, minerals including potassium and magnesium and essentially when you add this to your diet it can help your hair to grow healthier longer and a lot faster as well a study in 2015 actually find found that the minerals including potassium and magnesium in avocado helps to seal the cuticle cells which helps your hair to look smooth shiny and also prevent it from breaking <music>
Okay guys, so after putting your avocado in, we're now going to go in with some oil. I'm using my homemade aloe vera high growth oil. This is available on my website in case you're interested to purchase some. And you will also see it at the bottom of the video as you are watching. So you can just click on it to be directed to my website. But I'll also leave the detail of my website in the description box. Now if you don't have this oil guys, it's okay to use olive oil, avocado oil, argan oil or any other oil that you may have available. So for this I used about one tablespoon of that and then I'm going to go ahead and give this a really good blend. So I'm using a hand blender for this but feel free to use a regular blender if you have it available. Now after that's all nicely blended, we're now going to go in with some essential oils. So for this I'm using rosemary essential oils. Uh, and also tea tree essential oil. So I will be putting just a few drops of those and then I'm just going to go ahead and give it a really good stir until everything is nice and combined. And that's kind of pretty much it. It is a really simple yet very effective high growth treatment that you can make and use um, pretty quickly, especially if you're like in a hurry. It doesn't take long at all to make and it's super amazing on the hair. So after stirring it guys, this is the kind of consistency that you end up with. So it's a little bit liquid, um, but that's because we just made it. So after you let this sit around for a little bit, it does thicken a little bit more in consistency. So I'm going to show you that in just a little moment. So after it sat around for just a little bit, this is what it looks like. Um, it kind of looks sort of jelly. Um, jelly like but trust me it's not <laughs> it's not um, it's not a gel essentially so this is what it looks like essentially after it has cooled down and I just love this consistency so stick with me in the next part of the video I'm going to show you how you can use this and also you can see how it is working on my hair um, so I suggest that you keep on watching now I'm starting on clean but dry hair i do deep condition my hair once every week or once every two weeks depending on how busy my schedule is um and then in between i will use like sprays to keep the moisture in my hair essentially so this is like a deep conditioning day for me but my hair essentially is clean and it just needs a little bit of moisture so i'm just going to work in smaller sections as i always do just because it's much easier to manage my hair that way and i suggest that you do the same guys it just makes life so much easier and also you're less likely to close any unnecessary knots and tangles in your hair so essentially after i've done a bit of finger detangling i'm just going to work this through my roots and essentially cover my entire hair with it including my ends as well it's super important that you take care of your ends guys because it's the oldest and the driest part of your hair and the, and the part that's most likely to break essentially and if you're and if your ends are breaking constantly guys you will have the impression that your hair isn't growing but it's actually growing it's just that it's breaking faster than perhaps you're able to see length retention so it's super important that if you are trying to grow long healthy natural hair that you do take care of your ends um just because that's what will allow you to see that over time so after i finish applying this to my hair guys i'm just going to go ahead and twist and do a banter knot so it doesn't dry out as i work on the next section i just wanted to take a few seconds just to show you what my hair looks like and see my curls are really popping because this is super super moisturizing and it's super simple a really quick and quite effective as well um, so I do hope that you guys go ahead and try this out and as always I love to hear from you guys when you try my recipe so do feel free to leave me some feedback um, in the comment section of the video when you have actually um, tried it out. So I'm going to do that throughout the rest of my hair and just make sure that everything is done and essentially again look at how amazing those curls are. It's super amazing. I just, I just love this. And it's something that you can make and freeze as well. I usually just make one batch, like what I'm going to use on the day. And it's just easier for me that way. So I'll just use up everything. And then if I need it again, I can make it again. But you can definitely make and freeze if you wanted to. So if you made it to this part of the video, guys, and you still haven't given me a thumbs up, please, please go ahead and thumbs up the video. I would really, really appreciate that because it helps my videos out. And also, if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, Again, I would love you to join the family, so please go ahead and hit that subscribe button to join us. Now, in case you're wondering how often you should be using this, um, I would definitely recommend using it once every week 
or once every other week depending on how often you deep condition your hair um, it's super important that you deep condition as often as you possibly can guys just because that helps you maintain moisture in your hair and moisture is key when it comes to preventing hair uh, breakage and also excessive shedding um, so it's super important that you do moisturize as often as you can um, to minimize those things now like I said I do moisturize my hair or deep condition um, once every week or once every other week just depending on how busy I am but I try my best to keep it to once a week just because of how amazing the benefits are um, so I'm not going to show you guys how I do my entire hair because as you can imagine the video will be extremely long it's already long as it is so I'm going to do the rest of my hair off camera and then you will just get to see when my hair is, um, is completely done so I'm going to go ahead and put a plastic bag on just to allow heat to penetrate the hair leave it for about an hour and then I'm going to go ahead and rinse it with just warm water and trust me your hair will be super moisturized after this so this brings me to the end of the video I hope you guys have enjoyed watching and if you did please give the video a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already and i'll catch you in my next video bye